OK, so Ringwalk Media, it's Monday night. We're over at Berry ABC, and we've only gone and bumped into the king himself, Amir Khan. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing really well. You know, it's always nice to come back and Obviously, Mick Jellies was my trainer when I was an amateur, and this is where I started. But not this actual uh, place, but it was another gym that we used to have. Willow Street, where it used to always rain. The electric, electric used to always blow. And then we moved to Seedfield School on Wormsley Road. And this is the third one that Mick's got now, and it's just good that you know he's got so many kids off the streets here. Amazing to see this work that Mick's doing. And I think Mick Jelly is one of the coaches that I think doesn't get the credit for what he's done. I mean, fighters like myself, Scott Quigg. I mean, he's he's worked with so many champions out there. You know, Aidy AD Lewis, and he and he's still involved in boxing. Like he's never walked away from the sport. So I'm very proud of him. Over 50 years of uh, experience, many, been, many, many, many champions. I thought he was only 51, that's what he keeps telling everyone. <laughs> he's telling me he's 51 as well, but he's telling a few fibs, I think. And obviously, you've got a wall up there with a few champions on, Ricky yeah. Hatt and Scott yeah. Quigg, yourself. I mean, he's, he's. we spoke on Saturday, actually, in the ring, didn't we, on that, that Abdul Khan's fight. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we can't praise Mick Harley enough for what he's done to the community, can we? No, definitely. What he's done for the community and taking time out of his... On, on, on time, especially he's getting older as well. His wife's not too well, so and he's still coming to the gym because he wants to keep the kids off the streets and he wants to help the youth. Um, I mean, look, it's not like you make a lot of money from this. He's making literally nothing. I bet it's breaking even every night, you know, when he comes here. Uh, just enough money to probably pay for his fuel. But Mick's always here. Stuna is doing what he does best. He loves the sport. His father used to always be in the gym as well. Um, uh, I think it was Pop Jelly, his dad. And... Um, and so was his, uh, so was Mick's mum involved in boxing as well. So to be honest with you, it's in his blood. It's all he knows what to do and he enjoys it. So it's great to see that. Well, he's had a little surprise tonight. Um, he didn't know this and you don't know this actually, but um, he's been shortlisted uh, for the About Manchester uh, Awards for individual uh, giving most back to the community. And he's shortlisted in a massive list. So it's about Honestly, five people. He that more than anyone. I mean, people don't, those people that don't know Mick, Mick's a guy that's been in boxing for, like you said, over 50 years. I mean, used to go to work, come back, used to be in the gym. I mean, he deserves it more than anyone. The amount of champions and the amount of people he's kept, kept off, off the streets, the amount of people he's kept out of prison. I mean, what Mick's done is, is amazing and we have to respect that. So I hope he wins it. I mean, I mean being nominated is amazing. But to win something like this, I think the prize should definitely go to Mick. So he's been shortlisted. I think there's about six of them in the final out of about, I don't know, 300 he's nominations. In the whole of Greater Manchester. Yeah. But I'm sure everyone else is, whoever's been nominated, they've done what Mick's done. But, you know, obviously I'm going to be a little bit more biased than I want Mick to win it because in the day, what Mick's done for us and producing world champion after world champion, I mean, Look, and, and look, he's not already here. Let me see back if I can see him somewhere. Where can I see him? Um, he's, yeah, he's down there now walking around making sure the kids are, kids are hitting the bags. I mean, look, he could be lazy and have someone else in the gym, but he doesn't want to do that. He wants to, wants to be here himself and wants to set... The, and you know, it's funny because they still have the same routine. Six rounds on the bags, six rounds on the uh, uh, ways, six rounds on the... I mean, it's the old school routine which we've been doing all our life. I mean, I remember I used to do that 25 years ago and now I'm here, you know what I mean? So, yeah, What's I, mean, it? I, think, I think we need to change that. I mean, but then again, we don't want to change it because maybe that's the secret to winning. Maybe it is. And what's it like walking back through the doors? I know it wasn't this particular gym, but you walk through, yeah. you've seen a lot of familiar faces, people you used to spar with as a yeah. 14, 15 year old. It must you bring back what? some great memories. I two people, uh, and one of the guys, Tommy, mate, I used to spar Tommy. And I remember that, I mean, he looks in better shape now than he did when I used to train with him. Um, but obviously he was a little bit younger, he used to let himself go, he used to have a few little drink here and there. But honestly, he's one guy that, and, and I can't believe that, you know, he's one guy that was always there to support me, to train with me. He used to just follow me just to make, just to get me the rounds and take a beating off me. But he was like, I just want to help you. I mean, literally, he'd be blooded everywhere and he never, ever took anything seriously. He used to let me hit him and so, you know, you, you and, and, and uh, it's just amazing to have people like that. And, and then I saw his son who's um, called, Tommy. Who's called Tommy as well. And um, it's just amazing how generations change and he's now looking in better shape and he's training with his training his son now. He's still coming to he, coming to the gym to see make. I mean, it's just amazing. See, one thing about the gym is that everyone's as one family and we always connect in some way or another. Well, listen, I can, I'm getting the evils from Mick behind you. He's, uh, he's wanting a picture with about 900 people in here. 
Amir, it's so good to see you looking so well as well. Thank Retirement and suiting you, mate. And uh, we hope that uh, we see you again on these shores very soon. Yeah, we shall definitely meet as soon. And it's lovely speaking to you as always. I saw you at the Abdul's fight as well. Yeah, he's doing all right, isn't he, Abdul? He's doing really well. He's doing really well. And obviously, he was training in this gym as well. So, look, um, uh, Mick's just got maybe uh, a lot of good luck charms on his side. You know what I mean? That everyone's doing really well coming at this gym. So, but I, I want to see the other guys now, hopefully inspire the next generation because there are some fighters here who I've seen who are looking very tasty. Listen, we'll leave you to it. Great to see you, mate, and uh, enjoy being at home. God bless. Thank you. Cheers, mate.